What's up, brothers and sisters? It's that Christian blogger Preach coming live from the preacher's house. We keep it Christian. We thought you knew. We don't be tripping. How about you? We own a mission to talk to you. Righteous living is what we do. Okay, we're still in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 to be exact. And I'll be going through verses 6 through 9 because it's there where we see three amazing qualities of God. God says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he, referring to God, will have mercy on him. Return to our God for he will abundantly pardon. It doesn't matter what you've done, how many relationships you damaged, how many bridges you burnt. When you turn it around, admit that you're wrong and repent to God, he's waiting, he's right there and he will pardon you abundantly. Speaking of pardon, in 1830, there was a man named George Wilson who killed the government employee. Andrew Jackson, the president, sent a pardon to him, but George Wilson denied that pardon. He was hung. God, creator of heaven and earth, master of the universe, sent his only son to the cross as a pardon for our sins. If you don't accept the pardon, then you're going to pay eternally. Now, you may say, preach, um, you don't know what I did. You don't know how awful I've been. I just can't wrap my mind around someone giving their only son to die for me and I didn't deserve it. I'm glad that you brought that up because in Isaiah 55 verse 8, God sheds a little light on who he is and who we are. Listen, God says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. It's we can't think how the Lord thinks. We can't do the things that the Lord does. But when we open our hearts and we let Jesus in and we receive him and let the Holy Spirit lead the way, we can be saved. Until next time, it's that Christian blogger Preach signing out from the preacher's house. Be blessed. We keep it Christian, we thought you knew. We don't be tripping, how about you? We own a mission to talk to you. Righteous living is what we